next drone tech go ahead you have two minutes hey all right um yeah i did no research but i this is you know a topic i dabble in a lot anyway but uh yeah normally i would say just principally that unless somebody just outright calls for violence to happen then you cannot blame somebody using their free speech you can't contort their words and say oh they're to blame because ultimately what's going to end up happening there especially when it's coming from members of the government is they're going to use that as a pretext to crack down on their opponents and on critics which is we've seen that a lot so principally i would say no but uh the the left likes to set standards and then come up with all these reasons why they should not be held to them and it seems like we're at another one of those impasses where you know you got mainstream you know supposedly just the facts hard-nosed journalists like john dickerson from cbs news after at least one shooting and and this is after the other one was stopped and uh during the uh supposed anti-gun violence that erupted uh in tennessee in the capital uh but john dickerson after that said that when there's no give the only way the other side gets to respond is by punching back and he said, and that is the only, you know, where that leads, right? That leads to violence. So he's, you he literally have like this mainstream journalist out there saying, oh, well, yeah, we were talking about, you know, democracy and this is, we're pro-democracy, but when it doesn't go the way we like it, then we're going to start putting out justifications for violence, which is insane to me. So I say, I would say that like uh, Cluck pointed out, there has been an increase. Uh, you know, there hasn't been this rhetoric from the media in regards to trans. There hasn't even been a trans thing really until recently. So Cluck went back to 2016, but like, I don't even know if any of this was going on. Were there drag queens uh, stripping for kids back then? Maybe I'm not sure, but um, I, I would say that the rhetoric, based on their own standards, the left's own standards, that yes, that that their their rhetoric is increasing violence and. You know, when you say that Trump is guilty of inciting an insurrection because he said fight like hell, even though he said march peacefully, they always ignore that. They want to say that that incited this huge riot. But, you know, they can go out there and say, oh, fight back. You know, you have KGB, uh, KJP saying, you know, trans people are fierce and they fight back after a shooting. Uh, that's that's kind of crazy. And I think that they should be held to their own standards. So, yes. OK, thanks so much. Uh, next, Econoboy, you have two minutes. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, my general opinion on this, being one of the lefties on this panel, of course, is that I don't really think there's great evidence that there's a huge spike in violence from trans people. What there is a great evidence for is that there's a huge spike in violence against trans people, um, which is something that oftentimes people on the right don't typically acknowledge. Um, now, that spike in violence against trans people isn't just Republicans you know, uh, passing discriminatory bills against trans people. It's just very literal, like violent crimes being committed against trans people. Now, that's not a justification for any form of violence that a trans person commits. Right. But the, again, the prompt of the debate is, is left wing rhetoric causing an increase in violence amongst trans people? I'm not convinced there is an increase in violence amongst trans people. Um, and even if it is, it seems odd that the framing of the debate and probably the framing from the right wingers here is how is this the left's fault and not the right wing's fault for passing all these incredibly bigoted and discriminatory bills? I mean, after all, if a minority group is uh, seeing bills getting passed against them that are leading to their death or leading to the lack of access for basic health care, um, I'm not sure descriptively it should be too shocking if that group tends to get desperate. Right. Again, not a justification. But if we're doing a descriptive sort of sociological analysis, I feel like that's a reasonable conclusion to come to and it actually has a reasonable solution stop passing these incredibly transphobic and horrible bills what do you consider like uh um uh rhetoric from like tucker or right-wing rhetoric to be responsible for the shooting uh the shooting at the yeah. mall where they targeted latino people or whatever i mean it's hard Texas. to keep track of all the mass shootings in america so so you blame okay oh okay God. so do you blame do you blame like do you blame oh, Democrat rhetoric for uh, for the uh, uh, GOP baseball game shooting? Well, look, here, no, well, hold on, listen. Here's what I'll say. No, I'm okay, just wondering. That, can you just tell no, me yes or no? I'm answering. Answer. I mean, I'm not familiar with specific cases. But you don't here's know what who I'll say. You're not familiar with the shooting no, of, listen, of It was a domestic terrorist attack on Republican If you'd like me to answer the question, it's actually a short answer. Okay. Okay. What I'm what I'll say, and I would hope that anyone on the left would agree with me on this, is that if there if there are increased instances of trans people or just people, I mean, it doesn't have to be a trans person. I don't know where we're narrowing it on. If, if there's any increased instances of mass violence and those people are referencing 
oh, hey, I heard Voss, Vosh say there was a trans genocide, so I was desperate. If there's many manifestos that get released like this, like there are on the right wing, like there are currently on the right wing, I Which would you say, always yeah, hear about. we probably need to fucking we tone always down hear about that those rhetoric then, because that's what... Okay. Well, I mean, hey... So, I, right, we'll but you never answered my question, though, I noticed. I gave you uh, a, a clear answer. Board. I said, if that happens, now. if that starts to happen, of course we would condemn it starts the to happen. a little bit Did more the GOP baseball that. game shooting, a domestic terrorist attack, did that happen because of Democrat rhetoric? Because the shooter... I literally don't know. This is for health care. How do you not know? No, tell me about the shooter. I'm familiar with every fucking... How are you of fucking mass shootings every See, well, that's part of my point, too, is that, like, everybody knows about every right-wing thing, but nobody knows about the left-wing stuff because it just gets memory hold. I know about the baseball game. Hold on. I know about the baseball game. Cluck, hold on. I want to get O'Connor boy, though. I want to get O'Connor boy, though. So, okay, let Cluck give his take on it. Yeah, Okay. so which rhetoric are you blaming on the baseball game? Um, rhetoric rest. coming from rhetoric coming from uh, Democrats in the media at the time saying because they were against Obamacare uh, and they were saying Republican uh, uh, Sanders specifically said or no I'm sorry it was um, yeah. another Democrat said Grayson I think said Republicans want you to die uh, uh, Sanders was out there saying that millions of people are going to die and then he went out and sh shot at them saying this is for health care but then so there's a lot of weirdness so the media blamed Trump for his rhetoric for inciting that, for one. And two, the FBI tried to cover that up as suicide by cop for years, and then years later admitted it was a domestic terrorist attack. So, so I think I think the only thing that you can really have any type of argument is the whole Republicans want you to die. If that was in response to health care, then that would be irresponsible rhetoric, which I would probably attribute to that shooter. Okay, well, it, it was never – it never was. Well, no, some irresponsible rhetoric is even that uh, study you brought up about the trans versus uh, cis shooters. If you look at that, it is not strictly about the type of shooters we're talking about. People going into places, finding innocent victims, shooting them up. It includes robberies, murders, drive-bys, uh, mass suicides. These are all things that like yep. have nothing to do with the topic. And even then, I see so many people using that number to be like, oh, cis white men, cis white men. White yeah. men. But if you're taking all gun violence... That's not even cis white men. It, it's actually black mostly men. black dudes. Yeah. That's yeah. black uh, men. I, I hate the and it's very localized. It's very localized. Wait, what, mass what mass suicide was included in those numbers? No, I'm look, talking about on the. Uh, yeah, what, like, what like, mass gun, suicide? You said mass suicides were included gun, in the numbers. Gun, there's there's one of them. two thousand suicide. incidences. I'm yeah, saying like, yeah, and which one of those was a mass suicide? Which of them, which, which mass suicide incident was included in that number? Hmm? Hold on, do you? No. It's on. Committing these. Brought up examples of people saying things you didn't like after the shooting. But how can you say those things are responsible for this shooter, who, by the way, is dead? Committing these these gang-related violent acts, if you actually pulled up their voter registration, I bet you could guess what party they vote for. Uh, uh, hey, Richie, which one of those people on the mainstream did it before him? Because all the references you posited after the fact were things that happened after the fact. So they couldn't KGP did, before, uh, KJP did it before... KJP did it before... I phrase the uh second like the stopped mass shooting uh so they did it before something that didn't happen okay well that it got stopped so but it didn't yeah. cause violence right there wasn't violence that happened it's not causal of violence saying if i can Corinth is saying you've brought up examples of people saying things you didn't like after the shooting but how can you say those things are responsible for this shooter who by the way is dead so they would have never heard kgp say that or never heard right KGP but uh, right but uh uh, in the case there, of hold on. Taxes, there was hold happened. on. There was the there was the swimmer. She got attacked by that mob, and and then you had this shooter as well stopped. I mean, that's two things Prior, that happened and, after that. And and, so, yeah. and, and as as violence, right? No, and we're, and we're as as, the, as the that Tennessee that bill was as that Tennessee bill was being passed, there were state legislatures that were coming out vocally b before the shooting, saying this is a trans genocide. Yeah. Okay, real quick. I'm not saying some white and Asian people don't feel like they're targeted by these well, laws. Again, it's a all right, more so genuine here we go. question of so, okay, are they So the whole reason I asked you, okay, so I'm sorry to talk over you, but that's the whole reason I asked you because no you're calling these bills anti-trans, uh, transphobic, which I don't even know what transphobic means, but uh, uh, oh. you're calling them that, and that's exactly what the media did. And so if you're for weeks, and so and, and saying that Republicans, just like the healthcare thing, were going to cause people to die. And so now you're having that violence after 
after that week's worth. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Worth. There's a difference in wait, wait, wait. There's a difference in saying that uh, the Republicans are going to cause people to die because I think that's absolutely true. If you're uh, <laughs> refusing to vote for what? healthcare bills that make so healthcare more dishonest information. Uh, what about the violence that started really before the election, 2016 election, against Trump supporters? And uh, you know, I was calling it out back then that the media was inciting it. I, I wonder what the left wingers think. You have things like the San Jose uh, Trump rally where mobs of people. Uh, lots of them were uh, uh, having Mexican flags, like beat up a bunch of people, like uh, cornered a woman, uh, the huge mob cornered a woman and threw eggs at her. Yeah, crazy shit. And then it actually turned out the San Jose mayor and the police basically allowed it to happen. They got sued for it. I, I don't remember how that turned out, but I think they might have won. And there, was um, a, and there was a precedent of the media talking about how racist, et cetera, Trump was prior to this rally. Right, happening. right. And, and you had like Nicole Wallace saying that he was ex exterminating Latinos and things like that, which is just insane like what like slide to next right and and so you had people that felt justified and then <laughs> you and then hold on real quick my last thing on this and i'll shut up uh so you had the riots going on a lot of those riots were based on misinformation and and, and incitement from the media uh putting out there that like police were hunting down black people and a lot of these shootings trying to be justified like kenosha uh like michael brown and the whole hands up, don't shoot thing. Like people rioted and killed people based on the idea that he had his hands up when it was a total lie, but CNN spread it. Did they incite? Did AOC incite attacks against ICE facilities when she called them uh, concentration camps? There were two attacks against ICE facilities, Antifa people who got killed in the process. Uh, uh, it, was that inside by AOC? I never heard anybody accuse her of that. Like, th this is my point is that y'all are trying to hold standards against us that you don't get held to. But like, like, like you rambling on these things that that we so often. I'm just throwing some like, examples out. Tell me, you, you're just hand waving away often, as examples. You're oftentimes, not gonna... listen. Oftentimes, when I talk to you and uh, other conservatives, and they come up with all these anecdotes, and then I actually look into what was said, what the situation was, and and it, it's just it's nowhere near what what you guys. Uh, what do you think I'm lying at? about? Well, I, I mean, you just list off a bunch of shit. I would have to. Yeah, actually AOC at, called. How do you not ice know facilities it, concentration? Any, you don't camps. know about any of that? Do you think he's lying? And that's no, my no, point again: is that they never know about these things. Like, what is so, that? You, you, if you call ISIS facilities concentration camps, well, um, I, I, ice I think facilities. ISIS ice. facilities are ice. 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 facilities. ISIS facilities are ice. Oh, ice. I C E. ISIS, <laughs> ISIS is oh, a I'm terrorist sorry. Immigration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ICE facilities are probably pretty akin to concentration camp. <laughs> no, they, they see, oh, it's well, different really, what we do. Here we go. No, they're they, not. They, My God. Well, well, hold on. So, do you why, even know why, what a concentration camp is? It's not like a corner you go sit and think really hard. Okay, can, can we... Wait, wait Jerome, I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying this for the purposes of both okay, sides. Can we not get sidetracked on what is and isn't a concentration camp? Okay. Yes, the less rhetoric that's causing right. these things. Right, I'm saying right, exactly. I'm saying that if if we're if we're going based on principle, no. But the only problem here is that you, your side is never held to that standard. And so, like, how how uh, can we how can we actually standard set like we we agree the standard is a bad. Standard, I think the right? media enforces along with the Democrats, the government. They all kind of work in hand to enforce standards, and they can do that because they just. I'm going to wave my hands more. They can pump out propaganda that backs that those narratives up, and which is why you know about all the right wing violence. Everybody thinks right wing violence is a huge scourge, but you never hear about the left wing. And if you do, it's very quickly and then uh, memory hold. And so, you know, the GOP baseball game shooting is a great example. I mean, if if that had been a successful attack, can you imagine what that would have done to the government? There would have been yeah, right, if, right, if it were successful, that would have been bad. There are a lot of things where if it were successful, it would be also, really bad. right. But it was just forgotten about. No, no, it was right. just like that's what happens when it's the FBI lied about, about, about it. all the fucking come FBI come lied come about, about it. Stop one at a time. Right. For, I'll just say, I'm wondering what we consider a successful attack. I mean, he fucking <laughs> shot someone. That seems yeah. He almost killed Steve Scalise. I mean, the original kill bombing of the Twin Thank Towers in 95 is like mostly forgotten. And we remember 9-11 because one was a successful attack and one I was remember a failure. Both. Yeah, we uh, remember actually, both. the one that one happened in 95 was successful over, right? as well, dude. It just didn't yeah. drop the towers. Liberal clock. Liberal clock. I gave you a list of 179 left-wing attacks. And the last, did, did you not look at that? Hold Wait, on. What, um, what do you think an anecdote? That's just 179 anecdotes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, exactly. What they are is examples, and 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 again and again, like I'm trying to get you to to. Well, I'm just trying to get them to understand that, like, 
the standard, like these standards of like what uh, incites violence, are never equally applied. And so, like, it's hard to even have this discussion because in the mainstream, left wing violence is just not treated the same. In fact, it's co I I've heard so many times in the media that it's not a thing. That's not a thing. It's it's unless, just right wing violence. For Christ's sake, they want, held up so, seven for, fingers. For thing is 179 yes. attacks. Um, the thing that I was reading was deaths. Um, so those those are two different things. So of course you're gonna have yes. a bigger number on your thing than my thing. I haven't found it yet, but like that's just did you guys see that out. huge did you guys see that attack on the police training center? That looked like a coordinated coordinated yeah, it looked like a coordinated military strike. I mean, From did you guys Antifa. see that? Right. Yeah, probably, probably wasn't politically motivated though. Yeah, I, I, totally I wasn't know. politically um, motivated. I mean, it's, it's, it's just this is the way the left operates. They, by, in their by heads, the way, I, I leave them attack on the ICE facility. They always have an excuse. Always.